start. So they've got a slip in place, offside fields up. Oh, slightly aerial, but that will race away to the boundary. Backward, a square on the offside. That's really well played up the slope here at Canterbury. That should go all the way. He's slowing up slightly. Boundary for England. They move on to 17. Well, that's such a good pick up from Lauren Winfield Hill. Slightly shorter delivery from Leah Tahuhu, and that has gone all the way for the maximum. So good on the short ball. Picks it up. Spatches it to the crowd and knocks someone over, I think. And that's up and over the top. Really good connection for Lauren Winfield Hill. Excellent outcome for England off the free hit. Outside the off stump. That's better. Lovely batting, Tammy Beaumont. Here on her home ground, she loves batting here. England bring up their 50. Short pulled again into the gap. Back to back boundaries. Beaumont joins Winfield Hill in the 20s. India's biggest successful chase in one day cricket. Yeah, well placed. Beaumont on the front foot this time, out for a cover. And it just reaches the rope. Their fourth boundary. A couple of noises. Look to be outside the line of the off stump as well. They'll consider it though. Sue, stay with your original decision. You're on camera now. Good decision. Again, well played through the onside Beaumont. That'll gather pace across the practice wickets. She moves to 30 with her fifth boundary. Shot. It's really good from Winfield Hill. She goes into the 30s. Nice, Hino. Good mate. Well, it deserved for. I think uh, the fielder there apologises to the bowler for diving over it somewhat, but the shot on its own was uh, beautiful from Lauren Winfield Hill. Again, the timing from Tammy Beaumont is impeccable. Yes. Done. Yes. This time, Amy Satterthwaite makes no mistake. The second time in the over. And the wait for a half century for Lauren Winfield Hill. Oh, she got something on that. She has. Down the leg side. Oh, that is literally... Hero to zero for Heather Knight. Well, isn't it always the way? As you mentioned, but it's so beautifully at Derby. Come to the crease full of confidence and then you get strangled down the leg side. Thumped away. Miss your chance to dismiss Nat Sibber for naught at your peril. 100 up for England. Shot. Oh, she's timed that well. That's going to scoot up the hill for four. <laughs> Effortless power from Nat Sibber. Exploits of this summer. Wait, wait, wait. Oh dear, sloppy again. Yeah. Manny Green raises a hand in apology. Paul Pollard waves his arm. Took it away for four. Shot, shot. One of the shots so far of the day. And just held her pose for a fraction because she knew that was straight out the middle. Yes. Well, she squeezed it through. This could be the milestone. Yes, it is. Tammy Beaumont on her home ground goes to a half century. Her 14th ODI 50, 
and the local crowd will be pleased for the Kent player. Yes. Got that through, and it's going to race away. She hits it so hard, there was no chance of cutting that off. Well, dug in short and controlled that a little bit uppish for a moment, but then just rolled the wrist enough to bring it down and use the pace on delivery. Well, no real turn off the surface, so Nat Siver can just rock on the back foot and drill that through the offside. That's closer, and given. Second time in a row she goes past the inside edge of Siver. Considering a review. She's sliding down, and on this occasion, she's just got much more in line with the ball and trying to work. Hit on the back pad, the, the decision is confirmed from Paul Pollard. The brew blueprint at the moment. Head. Missfield. And it's going to cost them as well. Out towards the mid-wicket row. And just makes it. Jones up and over. Oh, that's magnificent. That is a quite brilliant stroke. Against the spin, hit a little bit into out. Fabulous from Jones. Do this a lot in T20 cricket. I saw her a lot in the 100. Against the spinner. There's never a fielder there. Cut away. It's going to beat the fielder. And it's the ninth one day international 50 for Amy Jones. 320. Oh, that's excellent running. Really good. Brilliant stuff. And it is a brilliant 100. A ninth one day international 100 for Tammy Beaumont. In the air. And gone. Amy Jones goes in uh, tame fashion, but it's been an excellent innings from England's keeper batter. Ah! It's a good delivery, but uh, I think Tammy Beaumont got herself outside the line at the point of impact. Paul, stay with the original decision. You're on camera now. Another opportunity, and this time it's taken. Susie Bates, with the safe hands, brings to a close a magnificent knock from Tammy Beaumont. Goes. Oh, fetch that. That's enormous. What a way to bring up the 300. Ball short to Dunkley on this type of pitch. You're going to get dispatched. Let's say huge from Danny Wyatt. Attempted digging, which didn't get up as high. Ended up being in that sort of arc just to continue to go up. Slashed away. That's going to go all the way as well. Offside six. A big one from Danny Wyatt. Brings up the 50 partnership in just 29 deliveries. But that's what you call a pocket rocket. Quick hands that just turned that into an absolute monster of a shot up and over into the crowd. The only thing wrong with that was the drop catch at the other end. This has got all the way as well. Waist high full toss, like baseball, into left field. It's just all falling apart for New Zealand. No execution in terms of the slower ball coming out, waist high, and then Danny Wyatt well, the way she strikes the ball, she's so well set in that free flow of the arms. Oh. Up the hill, has it got the legs? It does! For a moment, Danny Wyatt wondered. Nothing going right for New Zealand today, and everything going right for England. If this was going right, that wouldn't have been a held on to catch. Oh, runs down the leg side, helped on its way. And a fabulous way to end what has been a blistering 50 overs.
for England's women. And they finished 347 for five from their 50 overs. Just over Dunkley. Should skim across those bare patches of turf in the outfield. And finally, Lauren Down hits her first four. And that's a really nice strike. One bounce, beautifully fielded on the boundary by the ever young Catherine Bruns. Big score. Or maybe not. Tammy Beaumont and gone. Susie Bates trying to move around the crease. Yep. Great shot, great shot from down. Offered some width, which she hasn't been given for a little while. And just lets the hands go. But actually, if you can squeeze it through as well, there's value. Oh, yeah. Well, she's not squeezing that one through. She's completely missed it. And she was bowled by a slower delivery there from Eccleston, who took the pace off. Second wicket down for New Zealand today. Didn't need to. She's got so much time to bat to get herself a score. Beautiful delivery from Eccleston. Oh. Under edge. A bit of luck, and that one is flying away. Maddie Green gets her first boundary of the day. Oh, that's nicely picked up. That was split. The boundary ride is out on the leg side. Oh, shot. That's high class from Maddie Green. Gone. Eccleston has the last laugh. Yeah, third time unlucky for Maddie Green. She struck the ball nicely down the ground to get herself a couple of boundaries. Must have seen Green coming down pretty early, so she just pulled her length back, and it wasn't there. No mistake this time from Nat Siver. That is the end of Amy Satterthwaite's series. And it's been a good one from her, but it's not going to be enough. Is that even on the foot first? Like, Paul Pollard thinks it has. Okay, we'll just go through to Ultra to just confirm it's pad first. Paul, stay with the original decision of out. You're on camera now. Decision from Paul Pollard. He took his time. Yes. Bowler. Big hoik across the line from Katie Martin. Old adage: you miss, I hit. Kate Cross with yet another wicket, her third, and the sixth new, new Zealand wicket falls. So well all summer. Another wobble ball. Get some movement back in down the slope. Top edge and shrub sole with the catch. One big shot, too many from Haley Jensen. Beautifully bowled there by Dean. Goes up and above oh, the eye line. They might just have a quick look. Hands from Amy Jones. A confirmation is coming. Not out. That front foot did drag forward a fair bit. Chipped up while well, talking about taking a wicket. Here's a chance. And it comes. That was actually gifted. And the Knight is actually embarrassed by the shot. A very poor ball, both wickets. Well, that's full. Well, Heather Knight again. Looks down in embarrassment as a low full toss has just gifted her another wicket. Three for 24. Yeah, this is not the bowling that she expected would take the wickets. And Hannah Rowe has got to go. Low full toss on that front pad. On the field decision. Oh, big shot, big shot. There is a fielder down the ground and that is the end of the series and England have dominated New Zealand throughout.